Big night here then for Ville Fishmanen from Finland. Big chance for him, and there may not be many more. He does give away a height advantage here to Lenny Dawes, which might be crucial, but we know that he's tough, and we know that he's boxed at championship level before, rarely successfully, but he's certainly a worthy opponent, and Richie Woodall, a chance for the Finn tonight. Yes, definitely, he's a former EU champion, isn't he? So he wants to get back on the road to success. This is the perfect opportunity for, opportunity for him. Although he doesn't travel very well. He's had a couple of contests outside of Finland. He's been, been beaten once in there before. So this is a big test for this young Finn. So the lift doors open to reveal Lenny Lightning Doors. There is a big crowd in here to support the man from Morden in southwest London. And he believes that this fight is his route to a European title. And then after that, who knows? Former light welterweight champion of Great Britain, only two defeats on his record. He knows that he's running out of time at the age of 33. But Richie, it is a strange game, and if Lenny Dawes can win this tonight, who knows where it might end up? Yeah, certainly the European route is the best chance of getting a world title shot. But he's got one step at a time, he's got to win this fight first here tonight. And I've seen Lenny Dawes in some cracking contests over the years. I remember back in 2006 when he was in a great dust-up domestically against Colin Lyons, and he stopped Colin Lyons in the ninth round. Uh, at Bethnal Green, but also he's bucked Nigel Wright, Barry Morrison, Jason Cook, Steve Williams, and of course losing the title in the end to Ashley Theophane. So he always produces the goods at, at British title level. And now at 33, he's thinking, I've got to go one step further and try and get to world level. And this again is a good opportunity to shine in front of his home fans. Ladies and gentlemen, Hennessy Sports, sponsored by Lonsdale, London. Liquid caffeinated water and glow blue water Kent, exclusive on Channel 5 and Wealth TV in the USA. Proudly present 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the vacant European Union light -like welterweight title. The officials have been appointed by the European Boxing Union and the British Boxing Board of Control. EBU supervisor, here at ringside is Mr. Stanley Clough. British Boxing Board of Control stood in charge, Mick Collier. Matchmaker, John Engel. Timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Peter McCann from Ryslip. The three scoring judges at ringside are Franco Ciminali from Italy, Manuel Oliver Palermo from Spain, and Pierluigi Poppi from Italy. Finally, when the action commences, the referee in charge of the action this evening, Mr. Freddie Ruffin from Denmark. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the red clutch shorts trimmed with white. At the wing, yesterday he scaled 9 stone, 13 pounds, 8 ounces. His ring record this evening reads, 21 contests, 16 wins. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. Two defeats and three draws. Presenting from Helsinki, Finland, Vili Pishpanen. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the gold color shorts, trimmed with black. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled 9 stone, 13 pounds, 4 ounces. 
His excellent record reads this evening, 28 contests, 24 wins. 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout with only two defeats and two draws. He comes to the ring this evening as the former World Toy Champion of Great Britain, presenting for more than London, Lenny Lightning Dogs. Mr. Ruffin with his final instructions, 12, Three minute rounds. Just touch up. Well, Lenny Dawes says that this is his time and that special things are going to happen to him, but it all has to start here tonight against Ville Pishpanen, who is a, a dangerous Finn, certainly. Always fallen a little short when he's fought at championship level, although he is an ex-holder of the EU title. Stopped an Italian called Emanuele De Profetis in Sequals in Italy. Incidentally, the home of uh, Primo Carnero, the giant former champion. I think it's fair to say that Pishpin and a little smaller than him, and that might be one of the factors in this fight. Lenny Dawes has a decent height and reach advantage here, Richard. Yeah, and he's got to use it well behind his jab. And what he's got to watch out for here, Dave, the early signs from this fin is this right hand over the top. So what he's going to try and do, he's going to get, try and get close up to Lenny Dawes, head on his chest and just whip that right hand over. There it is again there, look. So that's his tactic. But he's got to get close to Dawes, so Dawes should be controlling it behind that fast, straight, long jab. Really big Lenny Dawes fan club in here tonight. Not had too far to travel. And a great chance to come and roar on their fella. And Fischmann does not have a good record outside of his home country. And Lenny Dawes made much play of that this week. Said he wanted the crowd to roar him on and get on top of his opponent. Can be a little bit of a slow starter, Lenny Dawes. And he really mustn't do that tonight. Yeah, it's not a bad opening now from Dawes. He's trying to control it a little bit better. And he's just got a box of distance here. Keep the concentration levels very high because Fischpanen will be coming in low head, whipping that right hand over, as I've said. So Dawes has got to control things and just keep the distance and gap. And that's not bad from Dawes there. A little bit of a slapping left hand, but then a good left hook from Lenny Dawes. And then right to the body and mixing it up, a right to the head as well. Looks bright, not his toes, but again you saw Pishpanen go for that big right hand over the top. The kind of punch that if it connects could just turn the fight around. Solid but unspectacular from Lenny Dawes so far, and nothing wrong with that. Pinn in here, the, the way he's standing, he's just waiting too long. He's got to, he started to have some success at the start of the round because he was getting close up to Dawes, but at the moment he's he's just waiting. That's allowing Dawes now to control things a lot better. So Pinn has got to do things differently and got to quicken those feet up. Good work at the end of the round here from Lenny Dawes. Slightly cagey start, but it's his opening round. Yeah, yeah, I have to say the first 30 really seconds or so, then Dawes really did start controlling things a lot better sure um, in this first round. Some good action here from Dawes, controlling with the jab. There's Pishpin in there, just missing with the right hand, and then Dawes coming back with a counter with that jab. So that's good, good boxing. But again, Pishpin in there, working well with his jab, getting through with the odd shot, but falling short, and that's what he can't afford to do. Lovely work there from Dawes on the back foot, counting with the jab, keeping his distance. Come out, over. swing it over. Don't get sloppy, don't hit you. All right? Be looking lovely out there. Just keep yeah. doing that. One put you the hell ahead. Because I'll play hell and it is seen at the end. Call it to see at the Sebase Sibari. Okay? Set to a heavy fight. Row for the fire and go to the house. Round two.
So round two here between Villa Fischbanen of Finland in the red and white shorts and Lenny Dawes from Morden in southwest London. Both of them looking to get themselves a shot at a European title. Dawes has started the better, won the opening round, and if he can build on that, then this should be his night. Already trying to work behind that jab, which is a good weapon against the man who's shorter than him. Yeah, and Dawes has just showed me something there that he should be concentrating on a little bit more, which is the right uppercut. If you look at Pishpin and when he's coming in, there's little head movement from the fin, and that means he's, he's, he's crouching a little bit low, and he's open to that right uppercut, and now Dawes is really getting into his rhythm, so it's good distance work with the jab, now he needs to start bringing the right uppercut through. Always dangerous, though, the fin, looking for those big, booming shots. The only problem is, when you see someone looking for those big right hands over the top, that early on in a fight, you wonder about the game plan. Left hook there from Pishpinen, but bouncing off the gloves of Dawes, his work is sharper. And if Dawes does decide, Dave, here, just to box at distance, this could be a long night for this pin, it really could, because if he, if he doesn't want to get hit here, Dawes, he, he literally doesn't have to, working behind that jab, because Pishpinen is looking to land with, with bent arm shots, and that means you've got to get closer to your opponent, and if Dawes stays on the back foot, controlling with his jab, it's a long night. Well, potentially a shot at the European title against the dangerous Denis Shafikov awaits the winner of this. And then Dawes wants that chance, although that would be... A tough fight for him. The Danish referee just uh, noticed that the gun shield had dropped out. So a little hiatus. Lenny Dawes, though, approaching dominance, if not dominant already. Yeah, it's a good start um, at this stage, anyway, for Dawes. But, you know, this is a 12-round contest, so you have to hold that concentration. And that's what he's got to do here. But he's working well beyond that left hand. The simple punch with that left jab is controlling things. And uh, he's just got to keep his wits about him here to start bringing that right up and through. And uh, he should be okay, but it's early doors yet. Early doors for Lenny Doors, but he's on top. Two good, solid opening rounds. A good start from him. Again, a strong finish to the round from the man from uh, Morton. And his fans are definitely warming up and starting to enjoy this contest. Yeah, that was good boxing there from Dawes, because he made his opponent miss, he made his opponent lead, totally missed the target, and then he comes back with a, with a good shot. Good counter-punching. Well, let's have a listen to Lenny Dawes' corner. Shut that eye, mate. See what, what they think of it so nothing. far. Right, just got big swings, Len. Keep him out there, keep him on the end of that jab. Yeah. Doing lovely. He started off swinging the right, now he's swinging the left. OK? Keep your hands up, you block them all day long. All right? Just keep yeah. them angled. You're turning off the right, lovely. You're turning off the left, lovely. Yeah. Keep working it. Keep working yeah. it. Yeah. Ja älä lataa niitä, älä lataa, on nopeampaa. Ja, tai se, että niin, sä haet liian kovaa, sit ja. se lyö tohi, ja. sit se väsyt. Ja. Se väsyttää nyt itteensä. Well, they're pretty happy with what's going on in uh, Lenny Dawes' corner at the moment. I know your finish isn't great, mine neither, so what do you make of the game plan for Lenny Dawes? I think he's boxing very well, and uh, they're just telling him that his opponent knows someone on the left hook as well as the right hook, so keep the hook the goal nice and high.